September 20th. All right, welcome back. It is Foodie Friday. We are outside 23 ABC because we have to be. When Harris Ranch shows up, they bring the entire grill and they are cooking up some, ooh, some tasty things this morning. Chef Reagan joining us again. Thanks for coming back down. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right, so what are we doing today? So we're going to look at a few uh, different New York steaks. we got a few different cuts, and I've already got a few started here. Okay. But we can go down here and we can take a look at some of these different steaks that we've got. And so we've got a 10-ounce boneless New York, and we've got a 14-ounce uh, boneless New York as well. You can look at the nice marbling and all of these. And then we've also got a bone-in New York. A bone-in New York is a little bit harder to obtain. Uh, it's called a Kansas City, but it's really mm -hmm. just the uh, off of the porterhouse or off of the New York. And so ah. you could have your butcher, uh, La Carretera, here in town on, uh, I'm not sure what street it is. It's on Spine. And then, we'll find that. And then uh, there's another meat market here in town. And so we're going to do a few different things. We're going to have salt and pepper, sim simple salt and pepper uh, with the garlic butter that we use in the restaurant. And then we're going to do a blackened with some Point Reyes blue cheese. Now, if, if somebody's like, they're, they're saying, look, look, I know all about New York sirloin. Mm -hmm. Do people make a mistake sometimes thinking that aside from this, for the weight, that they're all the same? All New York sirloins are the same. Uh, no, not all New Yorks are the same. They're there all a little bit different, and they all have a little bit different property, and it depends on what grade you get or what uh, choice, select, or prime. Okay. Um, these are all prime, and so obviously the, the uh, grade is very important as well. And then uh, having something with the bone in it is going to give you a little bit more flavor than something without. And so for someone who's maybe like a beginner mm -hmm. at grilling, mm -hmm. is a New York steak a good place to start? New York is a great place to okay. start because it's a very forgiving steak. It's got enough fat in it. Um, it's going to give you some of that rendering flavor. Gives and you a little room to mess up. A little room to mess up. That's right. If okay, you overcook it, it's still going to be great. So let me get started. I'm going to kind of come okay. over here. I'm going to just take a little bit of salt and pepper. And we're going to put that on this, uh, in this 10-ounce New York. And we're just going to, I've got this seasoned up with some of the Harris Ranch olive oil here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to put that down. It's very important that your grill is hot already. We've been talking about how hot it and is. And trust me, it is. Yeah, it's yeah. very hot already. And out here in, uh, in Bakersfield. For, specifically for the New York Strip, you, it has to, you need it hotter than other for, steaks? For any steak, you're going to okay. want a hot grill. All right. And so you want to make sure that whenever you're cooking, you're taking these... Um, and getting a good sear on them first. We're gonna let them rest over here okay. uh, for a little bit. And then maybe for a couple of these other steaks. Uh, for this 14 ounce, we're gonna put a little shrimp with oh, it. Oh, there you go. Oh, feel free. And so we're gonna, <laughs> I just got these seasoned with a little bit of Harris Ranch olive oil, some of the uh, Lisbon lemons off of our farms, and then some salt and pepper. So it's just nice. olive oil, lemon, and salt and pepper? Yes. All right. And so we're just gonna do that with those. And then for that, uh, for that, shrimp. We're going to use some of the Harris Ranch lemon spice that you can find in our country store. I'm just going to put that down there. And a lot of your guys' projects, um, products are also available at um, one of the meat markets here in town, right? That's correct. Uh, there's La Carretera and Wooddale. Right? That's okay. correct. That's absolutely correct. Thank you for that. Okay. And so all of these different meat products are available. We also have some of the different spices and everything that are ready uh, out there at those same markets. And then here for the uh, for the bone in or the Kansas City, we're going to use a little bit of blackening spice. Okay. We're going to put that down just a little. This is something that we make in our kitchen, and this is good. This is one of the options if you were to come in for dinner, you'd be able to get this. And you said those are a little bit harder to find. Are they a little bit more challenging to cook too? Um, they can seem like a little bit more challenging to cook because they have a bone on it. It may cook a little bit further on one side than on the bone side, but for the most part, they're pretty easy. You see, you got a nice hot. Uh, grill there and you get a good mark on it and you just kind of go to that 10 and 2. And you said something of before and uh, we're running out of time right now but I want you to address real quick the use of the olive oil on there. Mm -hmm. does, is, what, what does that help to do with the steak? Well, it, a little olive oil right before you put it down. It lubricates it so that it doesn't stick and okay. it also uh, makes sure that it gives it a quick marinade before you get started. Fantastic. So couple right. things coming up at Harris Ranch. I know that we got the cars and coffee coming up mm -hmm. in, the, in the end of September. And okay. we also have our beer fest with Riley's Brewing Company from Fresno. And, so and we're when very is that? Excited. The 20th? That's the 20th of September. 20th of September. Mm -hmm. All right. Chef Reagan, thank you. I know. <laughs> we're back out live. <laughs> we're back out live. <laughs> go, Look at the steaks. Yeah, we're here with uh, Chef Reagan from Harris Ranch came down and uh, we're continuing here with the preparation. What are you making now? So this is a Kiss Melon salad. And so we've got Kiss Melons growing on Harris Farms property. Mm -hmm. And so Kiss Melons are kind of like a, a cantaloupe type of uh, melon. They're a musk melon. Uh, Exactly, but well, they're okay. really, really flavorful, very sweet, and so we're just going to do a nice little salad right. with this. I just put some olive oil, uh, fresh mint, and uh, lemon juice into nice. this salad. Thought you were going to say it was romantic or something. So <laughs> it is a very romantic and kiss. <laughs> but uh, you can see nice little logos on all of them. Got the nice okay. little smooches. Do we need a plate? I'll grab you a plate. Here we go. And so we're just going to go ahead and put a little bit of salad on that, and we can put that to the back. And I'm going to grab one of these steaks and I'm okay. going to slice it. 
And that one's the one with the garlic butter on there, this right? This has got the garlic butter. Okay. Yeah, hold that yeah. Simple salt and pepper. So this is our classic uh, New York. Tark, come around that side. Here, you can come around this side, Tark. Get right in there. There we so go. So this is our classic New York. This is one that we do at the restaurant. And so nice medium rare with the garlic butter. And then we're going to go ahead and just put that right there onto that. Oh. Do you usually serve that with that salad? Uh, we have a we have a variation of that salad on the menu, and okay. we serve it with actually a bistro fillet, which is a little bit different cut. Ooh, Yum! So. And then we have over here two other blue cheese, and then. So we do. We have our uh, blackened Kansas City, which is a bone in New York, and so that's with the Cajun spice, and we put Point Reyes blue cheese on that, and then we also have our. Uh, 14 ounce New York Florentine uh, with a garlic um, with lemon shrimp and we would normally uh, just garnish that with a nice oh, grilled lemon. Nice and grilled there. So you just take that and just kind of squeeze that over the top right before you eat and it's delicious. All right and I think we're ready to give that a try right Mike? Yeah. Oh I'm sorry what were you guys talking about? <laughs> Are you already <laughs> eating? No 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 I was just kind of taking a look at this go ahead okay. you, I'll let you choose first you can pick first. Um, I'll take Elena, this Elena do you have a fork? You're gonna get a fork in here. I'll do weather real quick and then yeah, we'll let's do, do that. Uh, right, like that that looks amazing. Like I need one of those this. shrimp too, the size of my hand. So as we talk about our weather quickly out there, it's really hot over this grill. Perfect weather to get out there barbecuing today with the family, maybe trying to recreate some of these recipes or just run on an, up to Harris Ranch, have them cook for you because we have mid 90s this afternoon. That's on the hot side, but it's down below average and it comes with moderate air quality, which we love a nice fresh breeze, which is fantastic. About five degrees down from yesterday, which was 100. If you like it hot, we have some 100s coming next week, but unfortunately it's going to be quite humid. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday here, slight chance of thunderstorms moving in from the east as monsoonal moisture makes a comeback. So it's been a pretty mild summer, relatively speaking, so far. We know those 100s are coming back with that humidity, but that's next week for today. This smells amazing. It looks amazing. I will trade you that plate now. Yeah, Let's trade there because if I hold that plate, it's over. Yes. All right, very good. And uh, where can people find, if they want more information on all of this, maybe how to prepare this, where can they find it? Well, they can go to our website, mm -hmm. uh, harrisranch.com. And also there's uh, quite a few uh, local places here in town that they can buy this beef from. And then stop by the restaurant. We've got a couple of things going on. September 14th, we got our cars and coffee event where you can right. bring out your old right. cars up in the morning, get some, a cup of coffee with that and kind of trade some stories. But and the then, other one. Well, the beer fest. Yes. So we got the beer fest on <laughs> September 28th. All right. And it's uh, with Riley's Brewing Company out of Fresno. Okay. Terrific different beers. And so we're going to have some fun with that. Do some stations outside and 